liquid volume. We use different units to measure quantities or amounts, like money, time, length, and distance. We can also measure the capacity or the amount of fluid in a container, which is called liquid volume. For example, we measure the volume of milk in a bottle, the volume of soda in a can, and even the volume of water in a swimming pool. Liquid volume can be measured using many units. These are a fluid ounce, written like this. It is not a large amount. It is just about this much. A cup, written like this, which is eight fluid ounces. It is like a small glass of water. There is also the pint, written like this. It is equal to two cups. So a pint could be a bottle of water or a small ice cream container. A quart, written like this, is two pints or two bottles of water or maybe a medium-sized ice cream container. A gallon, written like this, it is four quarts. A gallon is the largest unit we normally use for liquid volumes. We fill our cars with gasoline measured in gallons. Also, large milk or oil containers are measured in gallons. Here is an image that shows the different units for measuring volume and the relation between them. As you can see, each unit is used to measure different things. To measure small things, such as the volume of a cough medicine, we use fluid ounces. And to measure the volume of a swimming pool, we would use gallons. But we can convert the number in one unit to another unit. Suppose we bought two gallons of juice. How many cups of juice can we make out of two gallons? Let's take a closer look at the gallon. We know that a gallon is equal to four quarts. And since we have two gallons, we have four times two, which is equal to eight quarts. We also know that a quart is equal to two pints. So how many pints are there in eight quarts? Again, we multiply two by eight to get 16. So we have 16 pints. Finally, how many cups are there in one pint? A pint has two cups. And we have 16 pints. So 16 times two equals 32 cups. So in two gallons, there are 32 cups. The following table shows an example of conversion from cups to fluid ounces. Notice how each volume in fluid ounces is eight more than the previous one. Here is a table that shows the relation between all the units we talked about.
In this lesson, you learned about measurement units for liquid volume and how to convert from larger units to smaller units.